Yeah, so think about putting more foods in. So we're doing a nice gratin. We're actually using some cauliflower, like Chrissy said. We're gonna add some squash as well. You can use butter in a squash, acorn squash. I use buttercup squash, uh, which I like. It's a little more uh, robust, I guess. Um, so I have some onions and, and garlic that I just started sauteing ahead of time. I'm gonna add cauliflower, our squash. Just a little bit of uh, fresh chopped thyme, any dried herb or fresh herb that you like in there. Just give it a little bit of a, of a stir through. You can season it at this point. Season it just a little bit at a time, but you wanna make sure you're hitting it at kind of every stage. And then we're gonna add, we're just adding some 2% milk. So we're not adding the heavy cream here. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot lighter. We're still gonna get that creaminess though. The thing you wanna make sure is that you don't bring this to a full boil. If you start bringing 2% milk because it doesn't have that fat content, it will start to separate. It'll start to kind of curdle. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Just from a visual point of view, um, you could, you know, it's still delicious. You can still eat it, but just, just make sure that the, the heat is gentle. So I have it on a medium low heat. So two cups in. And it looks like, it doesn't look like a lot. As it cooks down, the vegetables are gonna start to release their own moisture and their own water. So uh, you don't wanna put too much liquid, otherwise it's gonna be soupy. This is actually, uh, I was making it yesterday. It's some of the leftover, I blended it. It's a delicious soup as well. <laughs> so this is a two for one, you can do oh, it either way. It is fantastic, yeah. yeah. I like to cook once in any place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can turn it into two meals. Uh, and then, you know, we don't want to make it super, super light and healthy. So we have some nice smoked Gouda cheese that we're going to add to this as well. You can keep it completely, uh, yeah, you know, you depending on, you don't have to add the cheese. Yeah. If you don't want it. But like we said, the reason we're putting it in here is Jeremy uh, selected a smoked version. So it's most, you know, you're getting most flavor or maximum flavor. Maximum flavor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The most maximum flavor <laughs> you've ever experienced. So you can use less of the cheese. And we're just going to stir that through. It's going to melt as that heat hits the pan or hits the vegetables. I'm just going to put a lid on it. And while that's, this is a really quick recipe. I mean, it doesn't really take too much time. While that's heating through, in just a few minutes, just until, uh, I would say maybe five, ten minutes, just until the cauliflower softens a little bit, squash softens a little bit, you don't have to cook them too much because we're actually going to be throwing them in the oven after to crisp up. So just halfway. Now, the gratin part. What I love about this is we're using cauliflower two ways. So we're putting the cauliflower in, just raw cauliflower. We save, put some aside, put that in. And we're gonna buzz it up. And if you don't have a food processor, you can even do this by hand. You can just chop it up, uh, make it kind of rough. I mean, this is a very rustic, this is like rustic French food, um, doesn't have to be perfect. But if you do have a food processor, a nice little trick is you buzz that cauliflower up and buzz it up a little more, but you get this really cool kind of crumb topping. So if you wanted to keep this completely gluten free, you can. This is actually, it comes out really nice and crispy on top. And you can add this uh, on top of uh, soups, pasta, anything. It gives you a really nice crunch when you, when you throw it into the broiler. So that's a neat little trick. So cauliflower in. Um, I have a little bit of uh, breadcrumb that I'm going to add, just to add a little bit more texture, but like I said, you don't have to add it if uh, you don't want it. And a little bit of uh, uh, sharp uh, pecorino cheese, which is, uh, you don't need much, but it, it's got a really nice uh, flavor to it. It's a harder cheese. You can add Parmesan as well, just a little bit in there. So we're going to add some parsley as well. And we're going to buzz that through. a couple seconds that's it just until it's well combined and you can see that because of that parsley you got this beautiful kind of green bread crumbing on top and so to finish it all I want to do let's assume that this has been cooking for about five ten minutes and I mean you can even do it a little less and just keep it in the oven a little more if you want so that's going to go with all the cauliflower squash, put it into your baking dish, and 
then cover it with that breadcrumb topping. And as it, when this cooks down, it's going to be a little more even because it's softer. You can kind of pack it in a little bit. Just put a little bit of that topping over there. And then that's going to go into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 375, just until you get a nice kind of crispy topping. I'll show you what it looks like. And so you get this really, really, really nice crunchy topping. Uh, this is this is comfort food. This is really good Already comfort food. Side dish right there. But you're getting like you're getting your squash, you're getting some cauliflower, you're getting some really uh, nice veg in there. Uh, definitely satisfying. And we're not going super light, but uh, it's definitely beats your regular uh, heavy creamy gratin. So um, really, really nice, delicious. And then you can serve it up as is.